Thunder versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. You give me strength. Oh shit, we got Mind Vision in the opener. The Dream. Do I have Mulligan Northshire Cleric for Pirates? Probably not. Damn it, he played one of his weapons. So if I play Northshire Cleric here and he has spell damage totem or Thalnos, he can just one-shot it. But that's pretty hard for him to do. I think I'm just gonna play Cleric here. There's not really much point in mind visioning a weapon since I don't even have any pirates. Oh cool, he got the worst totem. I don't even have to use my hero power, I can just punch into it and uh, it'll give me a free draw. So I'm pretty sure this is not aggro shaman at this point because he didn't attack with his weapon on one and hero powered on two. Do I want to play my pirate here? Go ahead and get patches out. I don't think I want to use Finley this turn. Last time I played Finley this early on against the shaman I really missed the hero power. I think I'm just gonna play out the talon priest. If he's a slower deck, then getting a bunch of cards off this Cleric could be pretty important. So I think my play here is probably going to be use the Cleric to trade here. Play the Corsair, send patches into this for my free draw. And then I guess I could just go ahead and heal the Cleric too to get two cards. Let's go with that. There's Reno. Seems like Reno probably isn't going to be too important in this matchup. That was a pretty okay devolve, I guess. Basically, it dealt with a Northshire Cleric. Eh, I'm not sure how good that actually was. Probably just go ahead and play Elise here. And since my Cleric is dead now, I will go ahead and kill off this totem. I'm not really sure if that list can even use a healing totem. I'm not sure if they play, like, Flame Tongue, or... I know they don't play Bloodlust. But if nothing else, it stops him, or it makes him more unlikely to draw, or to roll into the totems that he wants. Let's just go ahead and get Raza down. I don't have an activator for my Twilight Guardian, so probably just gonna go for another Spite and then Twilight Guardian. Do I take Dragon Lord? That deck is playing two Hexes for sure, maybe another Devolve. But I can probably bait out Hexes before I play this guy, and if he gets Devolved, he's still a big dude. If the other Dragons that I had access to right there were any better, I probably would've taken those. But a Fairy Dragon and a Twilight Whelp don't really have much impact in this matchup. These Jade Golems are getting pretty big. Let's see what Mind Vision can do for me here. It's actually pretty scary to know that he has that in his hand. I think I'm gonna play Finley here. I could take the Dagger. But I don't have either of my relevant pirates. I might just take the Steady Shot and try to kill him. Because I think he'll probably win the long game with his Jade stuff. Although I do have some pretty ridiculous control tools in my hand right now.
Well, I think I play Medivh here. The Entomb draw makes the Medivh a lot better here. I have to imagine he's going to play his Jade Chieftain this turn. I might have to Entomb it. Although 5-5 five five isn't very big. There's one Hex down. I could use my weapon here, but it's so low value. Let's start with the Operative, see if I can't get an AoE or something. Lightning Bolt's pretty decent. It makes my weapon a lot worse though. I think I'm going to take this Jade Spirit here. I already have another Jade card, so getting the Golem ramping up right now is pretty decent. Unless there's a pretty good chance I'll entomb another Jade Golem card. It's a little interesting to me that he sent that Azure Drake to face. Kazakus for 5 seems pretty good here. Let's see, if I don't play Kazakus, I can go for Entomb, Shadowward Pain, trade with this guy. I'd still be leaving up 9 power, which isn't really that scary, honestly. I think I'm going to go for Kazakus here. Shadowward Pain on the Jinyu doesn't seem that significant this turn. So I can give my dudes health, which seems pretty good since I have a lot of dudes. Freeze two random enemy minions. I think I'm probably playing in Tomb this turn. So sure, I'll take the freeze. Even if I give this guy plus 4 health, he still dies to this thing. Okay, I guess I'm going to use my weapon charge here. Because it lets me... Let's me clear him out pretty nicely. I didn't get, like, tremendous value out of my weapon. What, it did 2 damage and summoned a Wind Fury Harpy? I mean, that's not terrible. Killing a 5-1 and killing a 4-1 is pretty high value for a weapon. And it felt so good to Shadow Repain the 3-6 that turn, that if I didn't use my weapon there, it was just going to summon a 2-cost minion, which is obviously not that strong, so... And the Kazakus potion was pretty bad there. I got pretty bad options on my Kazakus potion, and I think even given my options, maybe I didn't take the best one. I felt like giving minions plus 4 health would be pretty good since I had so many minions, but then all my minions died because I didn't use it that turn, so it was probably kind of dumb. I guess I'm probably playing this this turn, and not even freezing anything relevant. I wield the power. Just because it's nice to get the bonus health on all my dudes. I have 16 damage on board. Uh, thing from below though. I mean, I play Deathwing here, right? That was a fun game. Damn it, it's using the wrong deck. Come on, deck tracker, get your shit together. Alright, there we go. So the Historian activates the Twilight Guardian, and it's a turn 2 play, so I guess I keep it. Maybe that's wrong in this deck since I have so many 1s. Hot Steel is a 3 mana card, but it's not really a 3 mana card I want to be playing against Pirate Warrior. Oh, through patches. Feels good to be me.
So the Historian is actually pretty good against patches. There's no way I survive until Deathwing. I have a bunch of fours, but maybe I take Twilight Drake anyway, just because it's the best card here. I mean, I'd probably rather play Twilight Drake than Shifting Shade or Elise. Wow, this dude's opener sucks. He spent two turns doing a one mana play. You wish play Talon Priest over Thought Steel here. Getting the health of my Historian doesn't really matter that much, but getting a Spider Tank on board is pretty nice. Why didn't he play Upgrade last turn? He had the Upgrade in his hand, didn't he? Or did I just see that wrong? So I guess I'm punching this thing and throwing down the taunt. I think it would have been okay to play Twilight Drake instead of Twilight Guardian there if I had another dragon to activate the Twilight Guardian. Because the taunt wasn't like super relevant. I guess it does stop his weapon from killing my 3-1. Uh, and it stops his flame imp from value trading on my Astorian. Maybe it was pretty good to play the taunt there. Oh, Reno, GG. Play Twilight Drake. Play Buck. I think I'll keep the 3-1 on the board instead of these small dudes. This weapon has 2 power, so I trade off into this, I'm at 12. There's no way he can deal 12 damage on 6 mana, so I don't need to play Reno this turn. Let's just go ahead and play Shifting Shade, heal up a bit, and punch face. I still don't even have to play Reno. This guy isn't doing a very good job of going face if it's turn 7 and I have Reno and haven't had to play it yet. Is it really correct to play first mate there? Pretty sure he's just gonna give up when he sees Reno. Wow, he got pretty fucked. I don't think I even keep Talon Priest. I have better early drops, or I should say earlier early drops. Oh, this hand sucks. I don't think I even want to play either of these pirates here. I guess I'll play my dudes here. They probably trade with both of these and maybe get a hero power out of them. And then I have a little bit more breathing room to play Thought Steel next turn. Wow, my Corsair got a coin deckhand. That seems not correct. Those aren't very good cards for me.
I guess I could clear here with Potion of Madness Phantom Knives, but I think I'd rather just develop a lease. Give me a quest. That's pretty scary. Might have to use Potion of Madness Cold Blood to deal with that. And I guess I'll play Phantom Knives along with it, just to spend some of my mana. I guess that wasn't a terrible turn for me. Wow. Was that two damage worth it? It might have been, honestly. I can't imagine. The uh, Confuse is going to be very good in this matchup. I'd rather play Raza than Azure Drake here, just to get that hero power going. This game might actually be slow enough for me to play Bedeev, which is weird against Rogue. Wow, he burgled some pretty shitty cards. Do I just play Reno here? I feel like I really don't need to, so I guess not. I don't really want to draw a Golden Monkey, so I'm going to play Azure Drake before the map. I'm pretty sure I can't be dead here. Medivh, boys. As long as there's no conceal, this is fine. Classic prep backstab. Probably should have prepped his eviscerate. Yeah, I think he fucked up with his prep. I guess I'll go ahead and play Reno here. Probably didn't really need to play it. 